Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to another haul. Are we surprised? Probably not. Today's video is really exciting. I feel like I say that for every single video, but I just bought clothes so I have some positive endorphins released in my body, so... I'm just a little excited. This haul is a basics haul and basically I'm just gonna walk you guys through my favorite places to shop for basics in store rather than online. Nowadays, everyone shops online, which is great. I love online shopping, but sometimes I want that instant gratification and I want clothes right away. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on where I shop, how I find cool clothes, just really good basics. Lately, I have been obsessed with basics. It is all I wear, like leggings, sweaters, t-shirts like this is all I wear. But I think I have mastered in-store shopping and I am going to show you guys my favorite places to shop in store. I do live in Canada so keep that in mind the stores and like my local malls might be a little different if you're from like USA or something but without further ado let's get into the video. I'm first going to start off with Aritzia. There's like an angel and a devil on my shoulder about Aritzia. The angel's like it's so fun expensive then the devil's like okay but it's cute as f you have to get it and that's kind of where i am with the ritzia i find a lot of their stuff i really really love but i literally just cannot for the life of me like spend over a hundred dollars on like one shirt it's just beyond me I can't do it. If you can, congratulations, but not this girl. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that too. We are trying to ball on a budget. At Aritzia, I literally only shop at TNA. I don't like anything else from that store. Everything's like too formal for me. Everything that I'm gonna show you guys that I got is from TNA. I just feel like their stuff is just my style. It's really street style based and just really casual and comfy which is me. First thing I'm gonna start off with, I got this at least a month ago, but I have been living in these. Okay, not really, I haven't been living them. I really do take every opportunity I have to wear them. I love these. I think this with just a plain black t-shirt, a nice cute jacket and some sneakers is so cute. They are just these pair of white straight leg popper pants. So they have the buttons that go all the way down. And if you are a queen of basics, this is literally your best friend. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with booties, it just literally goes with everything and I just love that they're white I feel like a lot of people would get black but just getting this bright color is just such a statement piece and it makes your outfit look so much more cool this with a pair of white sneakers amazing they were on sale I believe I got them for like $45 and if you're wondering I got them in a size extra extra small because I wanted them to be super form-fitting for reference I'm like a 25 waist I wore these out the other night I wore them with a black tight crop top kind of like this one a leather jacket and my Air Force ones it looked so good next is a pair of leggings I love leggings I'm sure if you are a basic queen you love leggings too I would describe these as like not matcha but kind of like the set active oat color. Um, they're kind of green, but they're also a kind of a tan color. These again are from the brand TNA. I got them in an extra small and I believe they're the atmosphere. These are also a really good dupe for the Lululemon Align. I'm sure you guys know Lululemon leggings are so expensive. I'm pretty sure the Align ones are $98, which is like insane. And these I think I got for like 50 or 60. So they are still a little bit more pricey, but they are still lower than Lululemon. I feel like they're just as good quality too. Next thing from Aritzia is a hoodie. So I have, I'm obsessed with the oversized boyfriend hoodie. I have it in neon pink and I got it in a size two. So I think it's like small, medium, large to would be medium so i got that in the summer and i live in it the material so soft and so thick and it's just such good quality so i wanted to just get a basic gray one the only thing about these sweaters is as the sizes go up they don't really lengthen they just get more width to them you could wear this as a sweatsuit if you have some gray sweatpants wear some sneakers you really just have to accessorize the shit out of that bitch and it won't look like a slob. I'm telling you, if you throw some earrings in, like a nice necklace, you will not look like a garbage bag. It is kind of pricey. I believe this was like $90, but honestly, you really pay for what you get. The quality in these is so good. So I got that in just this like heather gray color. Tether gray? I don't f***ing care. Next, I got this basic light gray. I got it in an extra small. I have this in the exact same one, but black, and I wear it so much, and it goes with so many outfits, so I got it in gray. I wanted it in white, but they don't have it, so I'm definitely gonna order that online, but I got it in an extra small. This is... $25. All of their t-shirts and basics like that are super affordable, which I love. It's not overly expensive for a t-shirt and the quality is so amazing. It's like spandex and it just 
hugs you in all the right places. It's super comfy. Last thing I got from Aritzia is another version of the oversized boyfriend hoodie that I just showed, but it is the zip up version. And God, let me tell you, this is the best sweater. Probably the best thing I purchased in this whole haul. The material, obviously A1, because it's the exact same. It looks very blue on camera, but there is tones of kind of a dark purple lavender. I got it in a size two and it was a kind of pricey. It was $90. That is a lot of money on a sweater. I know, kind of hate myself for it, but honestly, it is so worth it. The material is so good, and I know I'm gonna get so much use out of this. My go to outfit in this would be black t shirt like this, black leggings, sneakers, accessories like some gold hoops and a necklace, and you're good to go. If you guys are gonna get anything from this haul, get this. Trust me, you guys will understand when you try it on. I'm warning you guys, there is a lot of sweaters and sweatpants in this haul. You can never have too many sweats, just saying. So the next place I went to is Walmart. And you guys may be thinking, what the f Taylor? I watched a video a really long time ago. It was getting Hailey Bieber looks at Walmart and I did not know Walmart sold sweatsuits. So when I saw that video, it literally stuck in my mind for months. And for some reason it just, took over me and I had to go to Walmart and I had to buy it. With that being said, I got a sweatsuit from Walmart. I actually got me and my boyfriend matching sweatsuits. So he has the exact same one. Lately, I've been wearing just the sweatpants with like a cropped turtleneck long sleeve and it looks so good. That's like my go-to school outfit. If you guys do go looking for these, it is in the men's section. So just make sure you go in there. I got both in a size small. Honestly, for Walmart, it is pretty good quality. I have no complaints. I just got it in this charcoal gray color. The fit is kind of boxy just because it is men's, but it looks fine if you put some makeup on, accessories, and just make yourself look really cute. You can honestly pull anything off. And then I got the matching crew neck sweater, again, in a size small. I find with men's sweaters, crew necks especially, I've noticed at H&M too, all their sweatshirts are very narrow and long. They're not wide at all. Kind of looks awkward to tuck it in, but honestly, I still think this is such a good steal for this sweatshirt suit it was $30 for both of them so $15 a piece and to me that is worth it if you guys are trying to save your bucks go to Walmart and get their sweatsuits they have so many different colors I got you guys <laughs> moving on to urban planet you guys have heard me talk about urban planet in a bunch of my hauls before they are my favorite place to shop locally for basics and kind of street style based clothes urban planets sweatpants are my favorite so i have two pairs here to show you guys the first pair is this amazing white color and i cannot tell you guys how many questions i get from people when I wear these. Whenever I post it on my story, I get like minimum five people messaging me, where the f did you get those? Because they're so nice. Urban Planet, guys, come on, get your shit together. You gotta go to Urban Planet. I believe these were like $15 too. And these are honestly probably my most worn sweatpants in my whole closet. And I just love the white. I feel like nowhere sells white sweatpants. Next up is the exact same pair, but just in light gray. If I could wear sweatpants every day of my life, I would. I kind of do already, but if you guys find the right pieces and style them correctly, you can do it. The next place I'm gonna show you guys is kind of frustrating because you can't buy it because I got it at the thrift store, but I just really wanna emphasize, if you're looking for good basics in store, check the thrift store. One, it's sustainable, and two, it's super cheap. So you know that TNA sweater in like the dark blue I just showed you before, the zip up, that was $90? Yeah, I found this at the thrift store, which is literally almost identical to that style in the men's section for $4.99. I know, it's the same quality and the same fit, and I'm kind of hyped about it. From the brand Cotton Best, and it was in the men's section in extra large. Kind of shit myself when I found it because I was so excited because I've been staring at the gray zip up from TNA for the longest time, but I could not pull myself to spend $90 on it. But since I found it in the gray color, which is probably the most practical color, I justified buying a different color because I got the basic color for super cheap. Go look in the thrift store men's section section large extra large and you guys might find something like this lately i have been obsessing over graphic t-shirts and there's this new place in my local mall called urban behavior but they are literally queens of graphics i've never seen a store have more graphic t-shirts and for super cheap this was 29.99 it was 40 percent off but i got it in a size large and it's just so cute and bitchy and just like screams hey i'm blonde but it is a clueless graphic tee i love the clueless energy so i have 
had to get it. My favorite way to wear this would definitely be with a pair of leggings and sneakers. What the f else would I wear it with? If you guys live around where I do or have an urban behavior, go in there. They have so many options for graphic tees and you will be satisfied. The last place that I went to is Garage. I feel like for the longest time there was this huge gap where I just didn't shop there and I don't know why. Kinda have to say though, they're really trying to be Brandy Melville. If you guys have been in that store, even just the way it's decorated just screams Brandy Melville. And they're also carrying kind of the same style of clothes as Brandy Melville. So if you do not have a Brandy accessible to you, I definitely recommend going to Garage. First thing I got is this black t-shirt. It has like a snake detailing on it. And I just feel like this is so something that like IMGia or Motel Rocks would sell on their website for like 40, 50 dollars and I got it for $19.99. This with a pair of mom jeans and some sneakers or some really cool cargo pants would be amazing. We're back. Queen of buying the exact same thing but in different colors. What can you do? I've actually been on the hunt for a tank top like this. So when I saw it, obviously I had to get it in two colors. It is this high neck tank top. I don't know, just the fit of it is super, super nice. But I feel like high neck tank tops like this are gonna be super in for spring and summer. This with a pair of loose boyfriend jeans and some Air Forces would look so good. And then I also got it in white. You guys will see, super cute, extra small, super cheap. The next top is probably my favorite thing I got from Garage. This reminds me of a top that like Motel Rocks or IMG, I keep saying that, but like those are my two favorite stores to get inspiration from, would sell. It looks white on camera, but it is this like ashy gray light blue color. The front is longer than the back. I'm not good at explaining stuff, but basically, okay, I'm gonna need to sit up for this. It cinches in right at your waist, so it makes your waist look super skinny, and then the bottom, it flares out. And then since the top is longer than the back, you like tuck it into your jeans. The last thing I got from Garage and in this whole haul is just a graphic t-shirt. I saw it in the sale rack. It was like $15, but it's just this Ariana Grande over size t-shirt. It's in a size medium and it is pretty long on me. I'd say it kind of fits like a men's large. I know this summer I'm going to be wearing a lot of graphic tees. I feel like I'm just kind of getting into them. I didn't really like them that much. And that is all the clothes I have to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some outfit inspiration. I really just wanted to show you guys where you can shop in your local malls to find really cute basics. So if you can take anything away from this video, if you have these local stores near you, definitely go to digging in there, go to Urban Behavior. They have amazing graphics. If you go to Ritzia, they have really good basics in TNA. Urban Planet is always a favorite for cheap sweatsuits. Everything will be linked down below. I definitely wanna make another version of this video, but online based. Follow my Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. If you don't want to, I get it. I'm kind of irrelevant. <laughs> Boy, bye. I will see you in the next video. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. Hey, hey. Robbie or the rover, I'ma do this for my soldiers. Doing shit I'm not supposed to. I got lean all in my soda. Tell me what's the holder, cause the baddie need it right now. I got hoes on my line, copping badges to get back down here. Smoking so much dope, it's coming in by the pound. Yeah, flow from the donate. I've been at it all and I think I found the right sound.